The man who saw his future and past self face to face, according to claims, a Reddit user with the nickname Jack Spratt 90 published a story several years ago that happened to him in the Cascade Mountains of Washington State in the U.S. And after that, he thought about the fact that time travel can be completely real and spontaneous, and that is sudden and imperceptible for the traveler himself. He said, I've always loved nature. I was fortunate enough to be born in the great Pacific Northwest, more specifically in the western Washington Cascade Mountains. I spent most of my youth with my father exploring these mountains, fishing and hunting in the local forests. There are some areas that I know, like the back of my hand. One of these places is called Goblin Creek, which is on Index Gallum Road, just off Highway 2. When I was a kid, we used to go there to fish and shoot and collect some special stones, which when cut in half and then polished, created a pattern like a view from a mountain cave. I don't remember the real name of those stones, as we simply call them picture stones. A friend of my father's owned a gallery and a mineral store. If you've ever driven across the road from Salton to Gold Bar on Highway 2, you may have seen a robot sculpture that stood outside the store. This sculpture was made by my father. In this shop, we sold the pebbles we found for $2 a pound. And this was very lucrative income for a teenager at the time. The path from the stream where we collected these stones to the dirt road was not very long, but long enough to get lost if you did not know where to go. In the years that we spent by the stream, I've seen only two people there. One of them was a hunting inspector who once heard our shots during target practice and tracked us down to make sure everything was in order. And another case is related to what I'm about to tell you. When I was about 14 years old, we once again came to the stream where I collected a full pack, backpack of stones and then bravely dragged the heavy backpack towards my father's car. And on the way, I suddenly met a stranger who looked about 30 years old. We looked at each other in surprise, as if each of us was amazed that we had met another person in this wilderness. And when I continued on the way and approached this man even closer, he was going down to the stream. I was heading from the stream to the road. He froze in place and stared at me as if he had seen a ghost. He just stood there and suddenly looked at me as I passed him, and it seemed that he was trying to come up with words to ask me something. And as I walked past him, I remember thinking how much this guy looked like someone from my family. The resemblance was striking. I continued on to my father's car, dropping a load off ro uh, my load of rocks into the cockpit and headed back to the stream to see my father. When I arrived, I told him about this meeting and asked if he had seen this man, to which my father replied, he had not. Since then, I remembered this meeting very well. Last year, I was visiting my family in Snohomish and decided to go to our old town of Goblin Creek for nostalgic purposes. After all, it had been about 15 years since I was there the last time. And on my way up to the mountains, I found that the Index Galliema dirt road had been washed out many years ago, but luckily I knew another way through the Jack Pass. I found a dirt road there and parked where my father used to park and then walked through the forest to the stream. And along the way, I saw that uh, something that shook me to the core. When I was about halfway through the forest, I saw someone else coming out of the stream, a boy about 14 years old. He was wearing a backpack that looked like a heavy load. As we got closer, I began to become more and more confused and more and more amazed because the boy looked exactly like me at his age. I wanted to say something to him as he passed, but I could not think of the right words to express what I was thinking at the moment. He walked past me and walked on. I walked forward a bit and then stopped when it all really hit me. I remembered this meeting as a teenager and realized what I had just gone through. Both this man and the boy were me about 15 years later. I turned to catch up with this boy. I ran back to the road where logically there should have been a car to which he was carrying a backpack and I didn't find anything there. The boy had nowhere to go but this road so I was in no hurry but he was simply nowhere to be found. In the end, I went home and decided that the experience was too incredible to even share with my friends and family. But then I decided to share it on Reddit to see what others think and hopefully see if anyone else has had that experience. 
And what do you think about time travel? Please leave your comments below. This is on Infinity Explorers by Anshri Vastava. Thank you for your support. Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.